What up, people? Welcome to Internet People Podcast. I am your host, Kenyon Long, and you know what you need to do. Do like your mama and your cousin do too, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening to podcast platforms. But if you're on that iPhone, you're on that Apple, all right? Make sure you hit them five stars for your boy. All right, I'm a black podcast. Make sure you hit them five stars with your boy. Um, Shout out to everybody watching this on Instagram. If you're on the replay, the replay squad, shouts out to you. Okay, random shout out to everybody in Brazil right now in Germany. Um, Yes, uh, I know you guys used to see me on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. So, uh, super excited about today's guest. Yes, got today's guest coming on today. YouTube comedy influencer. TikTok comedy influencer Daryl Mays in the building today, man. So super excited to have him, man. We're gonna talk about his process, what he's doing. Over half a milli on YouTube in views. So you know the boy's doing the work, and he's from the greatest state. Okay, he's from the greatest state, man. I gotta be a little biased, man. So make sure you. List your comments and follow Daryl at Daryl Mays on YouTube, on TikTok, and of course on IG. Yeah, man. So I'm just warming it up right now. You hear this audio? That's me on Instagram. I started a little early, uh, but I'm super excited, man. Want the folks to check it out, man. And uh, we rounded off 2020, man. Can you believe it? We almost about to be at the end. We are rounding off 2020. I'm already in 2021. Let me tell you something right now, y'all. It still look the same. <laughs> it still look the same. My boy is here in the building. Uh, 2021 still look the same right now. First three months, all right? First four months still look the same, all right? Unless you live in Atlanta. Unless you live in Atlanta, then. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> Atlanta, y'all ain't got no COVID. Atlanta been had uh, the cure for COVID. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. What up, y'all? Um, this is a reintroduction. I got my guy in the building. All right, legend. Okay, can you hear me? What? Can you hear me? With you, bro? Can you hear me? Let me see. I think it's buffering. Hold on, let me see. I don't know if that's mine. That... All right. All right, there we go. Weird. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this is a re- I was in- introducing you already, but this is a reintroduction. Shouts out to everybody. Make sure you drop your comments. Yo, I'm talking about over 500K on YouTube, okay? Your boy's putting out content consistently. I have actually been watching him for about a year now, all right? I see this oh, wow. kid. I was like, who is this? And we'll talk about how <laughs> I was going to run up on him this year in 2020, and I was just like, you know what? I was moving about. I think I hit him up on the DM, and I just like, yo, man, do I got time to film a skit with him? You know, I don't know. And so, look, man, you know he's killing it on TikTok, okay? This kid's killing it on Instagram <laughs> already, all right? You know he's from the greatest state in the United States of America. One, of the, I'm sorry. I'm going to be biased. Everybody know, man, okay? Super funny TikTok influencer, YouTuber. In the building, we got Daryl Bays in the house. <laughs> What's happening with you, bro? Hey, I what? Appreciate, bro, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, man. I really do, for real, for real. Yo, man, I ain't gonna say I'm super excited, but I'm super excited, man. Well, firstly, when you get somebody from the crib, you get somebody that's producing. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all, and everybody know on social oh, media right now. Hey, yo, my phone is like real choppy. I don't know what's going on. My phone is like super choppy right now. Like I can't. Let me see. It's going in and out. I don't know what's happening. Okay, oh, we 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 roll with it. Hey, it's 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 IG. You know what I mean. We'll roll with it. Shout out to everybody right now. Uh, what's up, everybody? In now, make sure you follow Daryl. Um, follow your boy as well. What's up, baby? Too raw. We're gonna we're going to. Uh, I'm gonna take him out and hopefully, uh, you know how Instagram does. I'm gonna take him out, bring him back in. What's up, Blue Magic Five Two Three in the building, baby? Two raw. Oh, sorry, baby. Two raw. We do have a game where when I go live, we talk. I talk to you, okay? So whoever goes live, I do have a game called You Got Five Minutes, okay? But that ain't this one. That ain't this one, <laughs> okay? 
But when I go live during the week, that's right, this week. Oh, that's love right there. Uh, RLAA24. RLA24 says, you make her day. I love you so much. You make my day every day. Are we good? Let me see. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> they say you make your day, make their day every day. That's love right there, man. That's what we do. It. So uh, he's good now. Uh, I guess he's closer to the Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and excuse me yeah. if my accent comes out because when I talk to somebody from back on the crib, it just comes out. All right, man. So anyway, we're back in the building. We got Daryl Mace yeah. in the building right now. Shout out to everybody. Make sure you hit them like buttons. Daryl, first of all, <laughs> let's, tell, let's just tell them where you're from. Tell everybody where you're from right yeah. now. Hey, can you hear me, bro? I'll, I can hear you. You're good. This thing acting real weird for me right now. It's, it's never for me. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. You're good, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, for the people who don't know, I'm from Charlotte, I'm from Charlotte North Carolina. Um, and shoot. Hold up. Let me see. Let me see. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me move real quick, man, because like, I, I can't even see you no more. You're good. I don't know if it's IG or if it's my phone or what it is. You're good. Let me see. My bad, bro, because it's not working for me over here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, we're going we to travel fault. with him. Move <laughs> hey, man, it's all good. Daryl May's underrated. Definitely, definitely underrated. All right, let me see. This thing ain't working for me, bro. Yeah, this is weird as I don't know what. I can see, I can see you, man. <laughs> okay, all right, Daryl. Daryl's going to work on uh his uh his connection right now. Everybody, show Daryl some love. Definitely underrated. We're gonna make sure we bring him back in. Instagram man, you know that's Ken Jules of the Building. Shouts out to everybody right now. Shouts out to everybody checking it out, man. This is the Internet People Podcast. I'm your host Kenyon Long here. All right, we're gonna try it again one more time. We're gonna bring him in, man. It's all good. That's what happens when you do live. When you go live, folks. All right, we good? I'm good. I'm okay, good. There we, go. there we go. My bad, yo. It's like it's like buffering and it get real choppy. Like I don't know what's happening, bro. Honestly. Okay. Well, you, you, well, you, you, you on the border? You over there by Carowinds? Where you at? Where you at? Nah, okay. <laughs> nah. So I'm like I'm right outside my house, bro. But like I guess my Wi-Fi is going in and out, so it ain't. It ain't oh like, yeah. You, yeah. You, I should have said. Cut him off. Anyway, all right. So reintroduction. You telling us right now where you from? All right. You say from Charlotte, from QC. Right. All right, holding it down. Um, definitely, man. How long? You know what I mean? Of course, you guys know. If you don't know, I'm from North Carolina. I represent North Carolina all day. Don't matter yes, what sir. country I'm in. I'm from High Point. All right. So High Point three three six. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Always in Charlotte all the time. But look, man. You know, so a Carolina boy, you know, it's all about that Biscuitville, that Bojangles, you know what I'm saying, that <laughs> uh, that cheer wine and that cookout, okay, <laughs> all right, you know what I'm talking about, so how long you been doing YouTube, bro? I've been on uh, YouTube, man, I've been on YouTube for a long time, bro, I want to say my channel was started in 2013 officially, Um, but I started, for all the people who know me, I started making beats, so um, shoot, man, I've been doing it. Consistently, I'll say I've been doing it for like maybe three, four years. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, but but like on and off longer than that since 2013. So. <laughs> right, right. Okay, that's funny. Like literally, I got on YouTube 2013. Oh, for real? Yep, yep. I got on YouTube, that's but crazy. I was, you know, we was I was in LA. I moved to LA, so I was okay. acting. So I was putting up, you know, demo reels or whatever I did. I was still I was filming a web series when I first got here to LA. And I was putting that up. Then later in 2013, I started putting like random skits. But before I was, I was like, you know, directors would want to see some footage of you, and they would start asking for YouTube links. So I was like, okay, I'll just yeah. toss it on here. You know what I mean? So I was just tossing stuff on there, Tyler Perry stuff, auditions and stuff. They want to see it. You know, you just toss it on YouTube. So I was just kind of like tossing stuff up there, but you know, doing like short web comedy web series. Yeah. Um. All right, bro. I mean, you're from North Carolina. You know, you put out a content. Love your thumbnails, man. You're killing that. How? Uh, yeah, man. Not for real. And I'm not capping because he's from North Carolina. I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, hey, so I that's what I was about to say. That's what, that's what I was about to say. Now, we all know on social media, on Instagram, I already know, you know what I mean? When it comes to North Carolina, I'm just keep it real. 
It's only four of us doing it. All right. There's only four of us. There's only four of us doing it <laughs> consistently at the level, right? Yeah. Kill Killer Tay. Okay. He from Charlotte. Ryan Davis. Ryan, I I haven't heard of Ryan Davis. What? Okay. I haven't heard of Ryan Davis. You and your boy right here. That's it. That's it. I ain't even, hey, I ain't even know that. So I, <laughs> I That's it. You know that. Yeah, yeah honestly, I don't even keep up with like a lot of people, bro. Like I work so much, I don't even, I don't even keep up with people. So I be, hey, I, I love it. to me. I like, love. If you put me up there. It's like, shoot, really? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm one of the dudes out here. That's yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. That. That's it. Now, if we all came together like Voltron, you know what I mean. But hey, you know, <laughs> that's my, that's my perfect dream. That's just my perfect dream, y'all. What up, uh, Deja? Um, Deja was had me. Did what happened at Deja? Um, I just want to know three three six in the house, seven oh four in the house right now. Uh, yo, I was gonna hit you up, right? I worked CIAA. I was hosting. Oh, that's dope. And that's an yeah. I was just I, I was like, yo, man, this kid is dope. I need to kind of film a skit with him real quick. So I drove. This is like right before COVID, right? Like literally, the last time I saw my parents and my nephew and my nieces was CIAA weekend. I'm hosting. Um, for somebody, I forgot who it was, Toyota or something, CIAA all weekend. I said, man, I need to shoot with this dude, this kid, Daryl, try to get <laughs> in real quick. But I wasn't doing no parties or nothing. I was going back to High Point every night. And I was like, dang, I ain't got time. I thought I, I thought I sent you a DM, like, yo, bro, what's up? I thought I hit, like, yo, I'm in Charlotte. What? <laughs> I, don't, bro, I don't remember, bro. You might have. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I, but I was like, yo, I don't know if I got time, man, because I was working, like, 10 hour days or something like that, man. On the mic, oh, okay. Uh, been watching his videos. Uh, it was the first trap beat he was making. Dang, oh, yeah, that's OG Ty, right there. You, Ty OG, baby. But actually, oh, I tell you what, I think that's actually not right. If you if you know me, my first video, I started doing spoken word. The first video I did was a spoken word, and then eventually right. it got to beats. So, you OG, okay, you OG, 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 you OG, go, followers. Go back a little further. Go back a little further. OG followers. So, right. are you are you a rapper? Are you nope. a poet? Nope. Are you nope. A... nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you capping right now? Nah, because I, the last, the song you just did, Fresh Out of Jail, new YouTube video, I said, like, wait a minute. Now, let me Bruh. just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. All, All right. right. I want, I'm an old, I'm old, old guy, right? Okay. All right. I've been rapping all my life in North Carolina. I always represent North Carolina, whatever, right? And I was like, okay. But when I hear some talent, I'm like, okay, right, cool. You know what I mean? This guy's rap. I'm like, oh, he's spitting, spitting. All right, making the beat because I make I make my own beats. Yeah. And I'm rap I'm rapping on all my. You know what I mean? Uh. So I'm like, okay, did you do the rapper? No. So you can go ahead, tell us right now, Internet People Podcast. Are you a rapper, dude? When the album come? Uh, I mean, everybody, everybody, Charlotte, a rapper. Uh, no, all the. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> So I, 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 bro, I, I ain't a rapper. I promise you that. So like I told you, I started off right. Um, well, I started doing spoken word. Then I started making beats. And so all those beats that I still have that I made back in the day, like I never did nothing with them. I would make them for people and I would give them to people. But you know, like sometimes you get somebody a beat and they don't really do what you want them to do. On yeah. It. So it's kind of like yeah. you really do this beat justice. So I right. just kind of kept them and stashed them. And I was like, yo, I want to use these eventually. So then I did like a video a long time ago where I did like uh it was a pops rapping thing and people liked it and I was like, Well yo, I'm gonna do like like this little rap character type thing, like somebody who just come in and just be rapping like some some straight nonsense, it don't matter. And it's so weird because the videos they're called when your friend can't rap, right? They started off yeah. trash and the songs were supposed to be trash, but over time it got to a point where I think like the storytelling is just funny. Like that yeah. by itself is funny. So I went from like, let's not make them trash. Let's just let it be a, a long, funny story. So I ain't no rapper. It's just I'm a creative. And so yeah. whatever I got, you know what <laughs> I mean? I just I just put it together and it, it come out like that. And I was like, yo, I don't need like I was hype about that song because I'm like, yo, this one actually decent. <laughs> like, this no, one it is. <laughs> like <laughs> so you saw the comments, people like, yo, this everybody was like, yo, fire. And I don't know, yeah. if, you know what I mean? They were just hyping up using super fans or whatever. They no I I am hard on rappers. I'm definitely hard on rappers from North Carolina. Mm. And it's a level here. It's a level. You know what I mean? It's a level. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
J. Cole Rhapsody. Okay, like oh, sure, I, I'm, I'm, them, I'm, them, them yeah. heavy hitters right there. You're right, them yeah, heavy, you know what I mean? But heavy heavy right, yeah. So, you know what I mean, Carolina thing, but I'm just saying, um, and I like the baby. I like the baby. You know what I mean? It's North Carolina, yeah, yeah, I, I like the baby. baby. I love the baby. So, you know what I mean? Shouts out to the baby, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I heard that. You know so funny though, as a rapper who turned to act, I was a rapper the whole time, then yeah. I fell into acting. Mm-hmm. You know, like okay. I literally went to an audition and fell into acting. My homeboy told me to go in Raleigh to help him out. They asked me to be on it. They asked me to audition. I was like, yo, man, I'm just here for him. It was like, yo, well, you, need, you should try to audition. I was like, I don't know what that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> end up getting the audition and getting the role and shooting these independent movies. And so uh, as a rapper, it was hard for me, like, to do comedy and rap. Like, I couldn't. I'm yeah. too serious. I'm too too serious. So for you to do that, so like people would ask me in improv class, hey, this is a, a joke about rapping. You you're a rapper. You should I'm like, no, oh, I can't I can't turn my mind off of being extra lyrical yeah. and be funny. You know what I mean? So it took me a while to do that. Now I can just I mean I did parodies before in high school and all that. I do parodies, but it's supposed to be funny. But for you to do it that way, <laughs> I like that because yeah, you realize like, okay. When I'm writing a parody, I want it to be as close as possible to the song right. and the beat, right? But I want to be like poke at fun and stuff in the video of, of stuff they say, right? Where, where Future say something about his baby mamas, you know, talk about like nine baby mamas or ten baby mamas. Yeah. He's got another baby mama, right? So, but when you start talking about like a story, then yeah, that makes it even better. Like, okay, he ain't got he ain't got to sound corny. The beat can be fire, okay. and that makes it that makes it better. And that joint is like, I was like. <laughs> okay, it's you, know, you, know, you know what's so funny though? That beat, like, so there's an app on the App Store, Apple App Store somewhere. There's a beat. I mean, there's a name, app, the, right? name the app, name the app. We, we're here to help people out too. Ah, oh, come on, Daryl. I don't know the name, but like, I downloaded it. And it was just like a bunch of buttons. You just hit a button and they'll make a sound for you. And I just put it together one day. Like, I remember, I remember distinctly. I was sitting, I was sitting in the kitchen, I was eating, and I had, I had my headphones on. And I was like, like, well, this this stuff kind of fire. And I started putting stuff <laughs> together. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm gonna make a song of this joint. And so, um, but I think that's how it happens naturally, bro. Like, I don't think you ever start where you want to be. Like the whole comedy, bro. I never thought I'd be doing comedy, bro. Ne- mm. But I wasn't. I wasn't oh. a kid mm. in school. I wasn't. Oh. I wasn't none of that. It was like I started making beats, started doing videos, and it, it just kind of. I don't know. Like it just naturally happened to where I was like, yo, I start making videos and didn't realize that they were funny until people told me that they were funny, and I was like, yo, maybe I should like actually do this thing, and I yeah. started doing it, and yeah. It hey it, it did something so yeah yeah how how has it been for you and I mean let, well, how about this though why can't your homeboy how many homeboys does it take to get to the one that can actually rap okay how, how many homeboys do you have to have bro. till you get to the one that can actually <laughs> rap in Charlotte in Charlotte where it's a everybody a rapper in Charlotte bro, everybody. <laughs> today nah see but that's the thing right and i think that's what that that's what separates the type of stuff that i do and i don't, I don't do real music but the, the type of stuff that i would do is storytelling like i mean everybody got that that oh yeah puffing on this smoking on this effing on that like i mean that stuff i don't heard that before you know what i'm saying yeah, like, I, don't yeah. really want I don't really i don't really care for that but like the storytelling stuff i love like migo's got a song bro called first 48 and it's a story and i love mm-hmm. the song bro i know i know the song word for word because it's a story i love yeah. it like that um, how many homeboys you got to go through, man? Everybody I met, except for maybe <laughs> one or two people, rap. And it's like, it's especially in Charlotte, like, especially in Charlotte, bro. It's just one of those things where it's just like, it's like, oh, you rap too? Like, like it used to be surprising, like, bro, you rap? Now it's like, oh yeah, you rap? Okay, but uh, what we eating? <laughs> right, like, right. Like, no, it like, was, like, and that's the thing. I, I'm not. I won't. More rap. I mean, I'm super excited when there's more rappers coming from North Carolina or, yeah, or sure. and or South Carolina. Just shout out to South Click, right? And so for me, it was only like two of us in high school rapping. Two. Oh yeah. In my high school, right? Two. And, you know, in my whole neighborhood, right? Well, I would say three, right? In, in my whole neighborhood, right? So it's like now it's like a new rapper born. I'm like, I can't keep up with my daughter. Oh, I can't. She she'll tell me like. Oh, this rapper got shot and he dead. I'm like, who? You know what I mean? Like, I can't. <laughs> it's just too that. many rappers. Like, a baby is born in Charlotte. A, a rapper is born. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I cannot keep up, bro. But I was looking. I didn't even know who. Um, what's dude now? He look like Hakeem. 
Um, <laughs> what? Uh, you know how came from uh, from uh, coming to America? Not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, from um, from Empire. Oh, um, okay. Just like him. Um, why Ellie Chopper or something like that? That man. I, oh, I and Ellie Chopper. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Know who I mean, maybe he looked like him to me, but but I didn't know who that. I was at the barbershop today, and I was looking at TV like he looks familiar. Yeah, <laughs> like, who do you, who yeah, do you, bro. I can't keep up, bro. I can't Yo. keep up. I know who King Von was, bro. I be, I didn't know who he was. Oh, really? I didn't. I, I really didn't. Yo, literally, my daughter tells me about a rapper, right? And she tells me about somebody. She's thirteen. She tell me about somebody. I listen to one song, like, oh, he's trash. Or I listen to one song and I like it, right? Yo, literally, like, I'm like, oh, you know what? Like, literally, like two weeks later or three weeks later, he got he get killed. Like little like pop smoke. She took me a pop smoke, right? I'm like, what? I'm like, first of all, I'm a rap historian. Okay. I'm like, why is New Yorkers doing drill music? And so, but then I was like, you know what? This, this is dope. And then it, soon enough, man, you know, it's you know, pop smoke gone. So it's like, yeah, you yeah. can't you can't keep up. TikTok though. TikTok, yeah, TikTok put you on the people. Oh, TikTok for sure put you on. TikTok is ratchet. It's a lot of 15 second clips. I know. I don't know who the song is. I don't, I don't know who it's by. What the song is about. I just know that 15. That, that little Corvette, Corvette thing. I don't know who. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I know the whole up. line. I don't know who made the song. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the CJ Woody, Whoop Dead. That song. I was like, yo, Whoop Dead. That song is banging. I, and yeah. I heard it on TikTok. I didn't know who he was. I'm like, yo, this dude got like, he got like 1970 sideburns, yeah. and um, <laughs> I think he's from the UK or something. You know what right. I mean? I'm like. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm from North Carolina. I don't know about the Arabic stuff about hit with know. the hit with the cha cha and the zaza. I know about the chopper, <laughs> but with the smoking on the zaza, you know, and head to the mata. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It sounds good, bro. It sounds good. Yeah. No, nah, it's yeah. What's the one? Uh, it's like a whole lot of choppers or something like that. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I love the song. I don't even know. I don't even know dude name. But I love. I love that one little part. <laughs> that one little part. Yo, but but when you hear it, the whole song, like you hear on, I'm like, oh yeah, this whole song, Buck. You know what I mean? No, oh, I. Some of it. Yeah, some <laughs> of it. No, some of it. Like like a real song, like a real oh, good yeah, song. I, I yeah, yeah. not all of them. Not all of them. No. No, not all of them. Um, but how has it been for you on TikTok? Like, how long you been on TikTok? Not that long, bro. I was on, so I started, um, so one of my friends actually encouraged me to get on TikTok because the type of stuff that I make, I can easily just, like, repurpose for TikTok. So I started just taking the videos I have. I mm. chopped them up to, like, 15 seconds to a minute and just put it on there. And the first one I did, well, I wouldn't say the first one. Maybe the third or fourth one I did did really good to where I got, like, 70,000 views. And I only had mm. probably, like, 300, uh, I think maybe, like, 300 followers. And so I was like, yo, like, TikTok is kind of dope. Like, you can just post yeah. it. It could possibly go viral like that. So I try to post now, like, for the most part, like, twice a week on there. Um, Like, mm -hmm. when I posted recently. Oh, you, know, you got to post more than that. You got to post more than that. No. I know. I know. I, know I have you need to do twice a you First of all, first of well, because uh, I'm here. I'm here. to. I love the interview and give game, too, all right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. what I learned, you got to post, I would say, if you're going to at least twice a day, at, at like least a day? twice a day. Mm, okay. Y'all let us know. You know what I mean? He need to be on there twice a day. I probably not see but that's the thing. Like I'm so like the rest of this year, I'm taking time out to figure out my strategy for next year in, in terms of videos. So I probably add that to where like maybe I just do twice a day or something like that. I'm we'll, we'll talk. To do it, but. we'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. We'll talk about yeah. strategy. I want a strategy session, we'll do that. But and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. But here's the thing with TikTok, you can't even over I know how you think, like how you make a story out of a song and a character. Right, yeah. you do that for YouTube, but when you come, when it comes to TikTok, see, I'm used to like doing stuff like that, right, for YouTube too, yeah, and Instagram, right. But when it comes to TikTok, it's like, man, I worked on a TikTok that was like an hour. It took me oh, an wow. hour to do it. This joint flop. Let's just say it flopped, right? <laughs> Something I did, like people uh, scanning, uh, what was it, PlayStation Five in Walmart for uh, a grapefruit or whatever, right? That just took me like 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds to 30 seconds to make. That went viral. That went oh, wow. a million views. That went, I guess it's at 3 million now, right? That's crazy. Like, so you can't like overthink it with TikTok. You can still do them skills, like you said, chopping down 15 seconds. But the other stuff is like, 
Man, it'd be like the the stuff you think that you just like that and it just goes off. Yeah, Somebody said like YSB said twice a day. Twice a day? Uh, YSB, I, I told you. I got to fit that into my regimen then. I I gotta sit down and got do it. Got you, man. man. Like, yeah, we'll I I can tell you how I do it, man. I can tell you how I do it. I mean I don't hit twice a day every day, but I'm just saying yeah. just so that you know what I mean. I know you'll do good on it, man. Yeah. Um, too, I'm so used to making like the long form content when it comes to a yeah. TikTok, like like, but there's been like videos that I've filmed specifically for TikTok that end up being like two, three minutes. And I'm like, God, dog. No, like, yeah, see, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, you thinking, <laughs> yeah, you think, yeah, you think long form. You, yeah, your mind yeah. is long form. So it's like, that's how I felt. And I'm going to bring it back to you. Like, that's how I felt when it was, uh, when Vine first started. Yeah. When Vine first started, and I was, I knew all of the Vine people, right? So when they started doing it, right, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm working a full-time job, and I'm trying to do my vines. But then it was like, I was like, six seconds. Like, this, that's how I feel, how you feel is how I felt about vine. I'm like, six seconds to get off a joke. Oh, and so man. Batch was like, you know what I mean? Batch and Paige Kennedy, who mm -hmm. I used to see all the time. I'm like, they were just pumping them out. And I'm just like, how y'all doing this in six seconds? Like, six seconds. I'm thinking about whole skits. <laughs> right? right five minute skits i'm like how can i and i would just do like random stuff on my vine that i'll just oh walk and hit something that stubbed my toe and that's six yeah. seconds i'm like man this is stupid but this ain't even enough like i need to have some characters come in some girls you know guy whatever set the whole situation up but then king once king bash start doing like he had an editor to do special oh, effects yeah. i was like oh Lord, i can't Bruh. keep up with, i can't Bruh. i can't put i don't know after effects i can't keep up with this <laughs> Bruh, the stuff they be doing on TikTok now, I be looking like <laughs> I don't even right. know to do that. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't like I don't have the mental capacity to do that. Like I'm like I don't know, I, bro. I saw this one girl, bro, on this TikTok. She like, like she took her head off and used it like a bowling ball. And like, I, was just, like, <laughs> I was looking at it, like <laughs> I can't do that, bro. I can't do that. <laughs> this this like, one girl. I can't do that. This one girl, she's a singer, but all she does is she slides on her front driveway and has a cannon that that blows out a uh, confetti, oh, and wow. she just does she just slides to different music on her driveway. It's not ice or anything. She's sliding on her driveway and she just poses and blows this cannon that does confetti out, and he'll oh, she'll wow. do it like five times in a row. People are like, how are you sliding? And she just slides. <laughs> I like I don't know either. Like it's day, it's daytime. It looked like it's hot. You know, that's not ice. There's no snow on the ground, but she's sliding on her front driveway. She tricking folks. That's what it is. I don't know. How to do it. <laughs> <laughs> she's tricking folks. Like. Uh, but so when we talking about the process, I like to you know it's good to talk to somebody that that does you know does what you does and do what you do on a high level consistently. I appreciate that, man. So, I, I mean, I just love, you know, I just love talking to, you know, creators. And that's what it's all about. It's Internet People Podcast. So, you guys know, make sure you subscribe to it. It's what we do. We talk about viral videos and stuff going on and on the Internet. And we talk <laughs> to the, the funniest internet. people on the Internet. I mean, that's YouTube. That's TikTok. So, holler at me. You want to be on the show, but how long, you know, how do you come up with your, your, your concepts? I know you, I can tell you study YouTube analytics. I can tell that oh, already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. So how long does it take for you to film using one of your videos? <laughs> so, um, the filming process, like don't, how long it takes to film it? Yeah. Uh, it depends, man. It depends. Like a lot of times if I have like, um, it'll take a lot longer. Like it'll take like I think the video I just filmed uh, I just posted the when your friend can't rap one that one probably took uh, man that probably took actually you know what maybe three four hours maybe three four yeah. hours and then yeah. and then like to edit that video probably took three four days <laughs> so, <laughs> so it, it took a while definitely took a while yeah but if it's something like a like a <clears throat> like those little voiceover videos that might take shoot man that might take um maybe an hour to film and then yeah. thirty minutes to edit. But, like, I don't like doing stuff like that because I want to make sure that, like, I'm putting out, like, videos that people can actually relate to and stuff that's funny. Like, I don't – like, you see how, like, you got Ha Ha Davis and them. They can do, like, those little voiceover stuff. Like, I like it, and I think it's funny. But, like, I am a videographer, and I'm a content creator mm. at heart, so I know, like, I can't just do that. Like, sit here and have, like, a voice go – like, I, I just can't. You know what I mean? Like, I got to create – I'm sitting, a scene I'm sitting in my room right now. 
thinking about how can I get her to give me some Bojangles. And then she drive, you know, <laughs> I like them too. No, no, that's cool. I like, I like, uh, I like voiceovers. Those do good on TikTok too. They do. You know they what do. I mean? Uh, and TikTok now makes it easier. An uh, app I like to use to edit video quickly for TikTok and do the voiceovers is InShot. I don't know if you I use an InShot. So InShot lets you record over your video real quick and do that. Um, everybody got a different style, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like voiceovers. I know, uh, you know, shouts out to Tony Baker. He, he's uh, been out oh, here he's for long, as long he's as me. Funny. And, uh, you know, I know he started, you know, he didn't never, he never did any of that. But then he just started doing it a couple years ago and just, Started to take off for him, so now he just does the he does that too. You that know, adding your art to me, bro. That that animal stuff be funny. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, yeah, whatever. I know. I think as a content creator, you know, I think you see we're trying to make stuff that the fans, like you say, want to see and relate to and think is funny. Right, right. How we do that is, like you say, is look at other people. All right, so when I say uh, Tony Baker, I say uh, Killer Tay, I say uh, Ha Ha Davis or Ryan, you know, Ha Ha or Ryan Davis or Funny Mike, go back to Funny Mike. I know, I, you know, I didn't studied all of them, you know, yeah. Funny Mike to, uh, to, you know, the king in the land is King Batch, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, so everybody's, this, here's the thing that I do know that everybody need to understand is that they got more than one Starbucks, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So it's enough for everybody. That's uh, but, yeah, it's just whatever you're comfortable doing that you think you can pull off in your way. You know what I mean? It's not uh, everybody kind of – and it's weird, too. We all kind of do stuff. But I think we used to have we used to have comedy skit beef out here in L.A. <laughs> when I uh -huh. had this other – yeah, when I had this other crew I was doing comedy skits with out here in L.A., we would do a skit. I forgot what the crew this was. Oh, Carrie Boy. <laughs> yeah, we would do some skits. And then we see Carrie Boy take it and do it. And we're like, what the hell? And we like coming up with the concept. Oh, but wow. sometimes we have the, all the same idea. All it's all the same ideas. It's just how you do it, really. I'm saying I completely understand. Yeah, um, and then my boy, you know, Jahan, uh, he's he's dope with what he does. And so yeah, we all can same scenarios, you and your girl in the bed, your girl see you playing video games when she catch you. You know what I mean? Uh, your dad, you know, when you bring in bad report cards. So yeah, it's yeah. all the same ideas, what black parents say, what southern black parents say, mm -hmm. you know, what white parents say. Right, you know, but it's how you put your twist on it, though. How you put your That's twist on it. So you do a lot of customer service skits, which I do uh -huh. love. Were you ever in customer service? Oh, yeah. I worked I worked at Target, and then I worked at a pawn shop. And so I deal, I deal with people on oh. the regular. I okay, so on the regular, I got what is the day. what is the craziest <laughs> story in between one? Of, doesn't matter which one of those. Oh yeah, craziest okay. story. So first of all, I say this: I say, um, the craziest story comes from the pawn shop. So the pawn shop I worked at, right now for pawn shops, you got to remember people come there to get like loans and stuff. So like, if you can't pay your light bill, you come to the mm -hmm. pawn shop and you gonna loan your TV. For like money to pay your 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 light bill or whatever like that, right? Right. So I had this one dude come in and like mind you now these are these are people who like they're probably not making the type of money that they want to make or maybe like you know life happens for some people. Yeah. So yeah. I remember this dude came in and he was real. Like he was trying to give us like these these real old TVs that we want like the back TV like them the TVs with the fat back. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Oh yeah, about, yeah, like, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the TV TV with the Meg the Stallion booty. The big, the, the big, <laughs> <laughs> so I think he came in there and was trying to sell him and trying to get like five hundred dollars a piece off of him or something like that, and we couldn't do it. And so I just know, like, and mind you, I'm in customer service and I gotta be as professional as possible. So I'm just standing there, like, the video I posted uh, from Target is exactly how that interaction was. I was standing there, really? and he was just he was just going off of me like y'all such and such, y'all like, and I, I'm just I'm just standing like this. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing I can, ain't nothing I can right. do about it. Y'all see this? Y'all yeah, see I'm this? Like, <laughs> but, see, but see, the thing about that, though, is we got cussed out every day. So to them, it wasn't nothing. To me, I'm just saying, like, inside my head, I'm like, I could slap this dude, but I ain't going to do that. You know right, I mean? right. <laughs> yeah. I, this is the only job I got. I'm like, I got to make my money here. 
type stuff. But um, man, that was stories like that all the time. You had that. I remember this lady came in, and um, she was same situation, but she actually no. Matter of fact, this lady was trying to sell her lawnmower, and oh, I I, I tell, bro, people need money, bro. I promise you, people need money. like a that push lawnmower or a riding. Right, which one? Uh, oh, uh, the dope thing is, the dope thing is, is that the pawn shop taught me sympathy because I had to learn that certain mm. people don't have it like I do or don't have it like we do. And so right. you got to sell a line more. You got to sell your, bro, I had people sell their wedding rings. I mm. had one dude, bro, one dude I had come in there and was like, yo, I need $300 to pay for this abortion because I cheated on my wife while she was out of town type stuff. Like, bro, Whoa. All types of stuff. Uh, bro, all types of stuff. So I remember uh, this lady came with a lawnmower outside and she tried to get it to crank because you got to prove it worked before we can take it. And she couldn't get it to work. And I was like, yeah, unfortunately, we can't take it. And she burst into tears, bro. And I'm standing mm. here on the sidewalk like, now, mind you, like this is this is a uh, I, this is a small white lady. And so I'm, I'm, outside, <laughs> I'm outside on the sidewalk. She burst into tears. And I'm standing there like, <laughs> okay, man, right. you, uh, you want me to do something? Because I ain't nothing I can do about that. But um, man, it was it was stories like that all the time, bro. Where like really, it was just more so, just me having to understand people. Like just yeah, it's like the customer service thing is it's very near and dear to me because I'm very nice. So I let you cuss me out for the most part. And I just stand there because I'm just like when I get home, I'm gonna be alright. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. That's how I see. I'm just like whatever. But, male, 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 male. Carmel said, "Hey, you need to do a story time by having bad customers." A story time? Would y'all want to see that? Would y'all want? Yeah, see apparently, that? Mel Mel is asking for it. I probably do need to start doing stuff like that. Like I thought about doing different things on my channel, but I want to make sure that people enjoy it. I don't want to put out anything, but I, I, I think about that though. Matter of fact, maybe I do it like on my lives and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start going live a lot more too in uh, in the next year. Or so I might, okay. I might do that. And then Live the Fresh with. Prince, I appreciate that, bro. The best advertiser, the best advertiser on IG, I appreciate that. Yeah, appreciate the best that. advertiser on IG, I no cap. <laughs> you already know, man. I told you the people are speaking, man. They already I know. You know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, uh, I definitely appreciate that. No, man, you really are doing a good job, man. And uh, you know, sometimes like if you're not working, because when you a solo creator, because you don't have a crew. Yeah, right, right, right. You don't have a crew. So when you doing it by yourself, mm -hmm. it's uh tough. People don't understand what's going on. You filming for three hours, you know, uh you gotta edit for who God knows how long. <laughs> so people don't understand that. So it's always good to talk to people that do the same thing as you, man, because especially right. YouTube. It's so funny, my mama didn't think about didn't know about YouTube a couple years ago, and now she's like, Did you know that? This girl made a million dollars eating crabs on YouTube. <laughs> I just watch her eat crab, and she just be eating crab, and they, they just be money. suckling. They I said, Mom, you, you watching YouTube? You watching mukbangs? My mama is watching mukbangs. And they okay? make bank, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bank. So, um, <laughs> uh, but no, nah, man, yeah, no, you're doing a, you know, I think you're doing a dope job, man. Like I say, man, um, it's enough for everybody out here. And uh, yeah, man, I love all the stuff that you're doing. <laughs> you you gain two day to everybody. Definitely needs to follow you, man. I'm telling you, uh, Twitter, on TikTok, on YouTube, mm -hmm. man. Uh, so you're gonna be saying you're gonna be going live. You're going live on Instagram more or TikTok or TikTok. So, be um, tripping when you go live on there. Some people get banned on TikTok. I don't know. Yeah, some people they'll they'll like. I don't know, man. bro. They they'll like uh, put you in a shadow ban for like a week. Wow, if like some little ten year olds came into your live, how can you? How do you know? You know what I mean? Like, nah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I probably I just, just like IG, probably IG, and then maybe like sometimes on YouTube or something like that. But I don't know about TikTok this year because I'm still kind of experimenting with it. like TikTok is dope, but mm -hmm. um, I got to figure out how to be consistent everywhere because it's hard to be consistent everywhere. Like it's hard to be in, in all these places at one time. So then I just we got gonna... clubhouse too. So I got to figure out how to be. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, bro. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. My home girl, she from um, uh... dang, she gonna get mad at me. She, my home girl, lives out here. I met her on an audition, actually to to do her t-shirts. Literally, she lived down the street from me, bro. I just went and did the audition. Found out she's from uh, Salisbury. I'm thinking about it. Shouts out to Stunner for Vegas. All right, she's from <laughs> Salisbury. 
she gave me the uh, invite last night. We was on Instagram. She was like, yo, you on Clubhouse? I was like, no. I just heard he's uh, ratchet. That's all I know. Bruh, it's ratchet. I literally <laughs> joined it last night. I got on for five minutes. I was like, what is this? <laughs> this is a ratchet mess. You got IG holes up in there talking about if a nigga don't, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, nah, this nah. is ratchet. It depends on who you follow though, because a lot of the groups that I'm a part, bro, I'm, a, I'm a part of a lot of like the uh, the financial literacy groups. I'm a part of a lot of like the YouTube creator stuff. So it depends on what you look at. Okay, so I gotta, they yeah, got some ratchet stuff. They got right, some ratchet yeah, stuff for sure. But I don't, I don't be in the rooms. I try to stay away from that. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. So I need to, I need to search some more. Then okay, yeah, you gotta, okay, you gotta do some more searching. That's all it is. Yeah, okay. Josh Two Hall says, "Shout out to Josh Two Hall, all right, with the anime." Definitely got to make some more father and son videos. Is that, is that your oh, favorite type of video to do? Oh, I see that you really get into character with the father and son. Is that your favorite of your videos? I think, no, no, no. My favorite, my favorite videos are the hood mechanic ones. I love doing those. Because oh, those yeah. are so relatable. Those are <laughs> no, my favorite. God. But the father and son are definitely next. And I think it's so weird because a lot of people know, like, I don't necessarily know, well, not, that's not even necessarily. So I never met my father before. So to come oh, up wow. with a character like that, it's kind of weird. So it's like, I'm kind of like doing what I think. And this this is an exaggeration, of course, but what I think a father would be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, kinda yeah. Loud and aggressive. But that, I mean, for the next year, I kind of want to change it up a little bit to make them more supportive because I want them to just be like straight up yelling and aggressive all the time. But um, my mm. favorite is the hood mechanics, for sure. Hood mechanics is definitely my favorite. It's the funniest uh. to play, bro. And then people look at me so crazy because when I dress up like the dude, I got like the mm. shirt and I got like this yeah. fake blunt. I made out of tissue paper and I got yeah. a hat. You know what I'm saying? People oh, like, man. what's wrong with you? And I just be like, what are you looking at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's, it's fun. Now, before, you used to be like five years, six years ago, you used to be like, oh, I'm filming a YouTube video. What? And they look at you crazy. Now, all you got to say oh. is, I'm filming a YouTube video. They be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, now it's like, okay. Well, sometimes. 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 Like, I mean, I think it's weird for me, though, because when, like, if you vlogging or something that's different, but for me, like, I'll have a camera set up in a random church parking lot, and then people just driving by, like, oh, oh. man. And then I'm yelling to myself. You got to, like, when I got a character like Pop, he loud. So I got to yell to myself out in this parking lot, and people just be looking, like, and I don't really know how loud I be until I say something, and I hear the echo, and I'm like, Damn, yeah, loud. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah. What's the, so what's the, cra we talking about, look, I like this. We talking about locations and getting locations, shooting guerrilla style. Yeah. What What's the craziest location that you filmed in? Look. So I guess church crazy. parking lot, like inside the church. Have you Have you been? You know what I mean? Like, have you went inside? I'm. Let, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. So I was filming with uh, with my crew when I had a crew back then mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. We filmed a bunch of skits, right? We went, and I'm just telling you about how to batch produce, right? We would take one day, we filming 10 skits in one day, mm -hmm. all right? Sometimes we shooting three skits in one location, then we go to another location, we're gonna shoot, you know, four skits there, or whatever, five yeah. skits, right? <laughs> we had, my boy used to drive Uber Eats. You know, I, I probably snitching on myself, or whatever, <laughs> this is done now. You know, when you drive for Uber, they give you the code to certain apartments. Right oh, to get in, oh, right. <laughs> <So> <laughs> he would screenshot the code. Oh my god! In the apartments, and he like, "Yo, we going here." I'm like, "Word, you know somebody here?" Nah, nah, I got the code. And then we would go film in their courtyard, or <laughs> film in there, in there, right in the lobby, because they have like a nice little lobby. That's a nice little set. Yeah, one lady right. came. One lady came. <laughs> we had filmed it for like we was there like an hour. Chilling on a Sunday, nobody there. Yeah, this lady, this lady comes downstairs. <laughs> random white lady. She gonna talk about. She gonna talk about some. Excuse me. She can't check a mail. Right, I thought it was cool. We 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 stopped filming. Right. She checking the mail. She did it all slow. I'm like, dang, what's she doing, man? Go ahead. Got, we gotta finish this scene <laughs> out. She's like, do you guys live here? And so. My boy like says, no, no, no. You know, you, my my friend lives here. He's, Where is she at? Oh, she's upstairs. What right. apartment? I'm like, oh, hey, give me a, give me a nosy. <laughs> right. <laughs> How about she was the apartment manager? <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta go. <laughs> That's what that means. That means I gotta go. <laughs>
<laughs> we had to get, we had to gossip. Yo, but I ain't trying to get crested by the cops, man. So I'm just asking you, have you had a, a situation like that in, in a unique place you try to film in? And like somebody, you got busted. I'll be honest with you. Not really for the most part. Well, I, I'll tell you this. That idea. Like a park or whatever. The idea that you just gave me is genius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. Genius. Now, I'm going to use mm -hmm. some of these DoorDash things to like. <laughs> yeah. But, um, shoot, I would say not really, man. Because honestly, for the most part, like if you watch my videos, right? So normally I film from my car, mm -hmm. I film from my house, or I'll get an Airbnb and film, which I'm doing this month for like the rest of next month. Um. The, I wouldn't say like nothing crazy has ever really happened. The most that's happened is like probably I was filming behind JCSU and like the security guard came by and was kind of watching me. I guess he didn't talk <sighs> to you. He just wanted to be sure that I wasn't like, you know, yeah. while in the school or nothing. So he just pulled up and was like sitting there for a minute. And then I just kind of got, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got kind of scared. So I left. <laughs> but, oh. I mean, because he, he just sitting there like watching me and I'm just like, and I was filming for a minute and then I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to go. <laughs> so I'm yeah. Like, oh, and I leave. That's about it. But besides that, um, there was a time <laughs> where, shoot, one video that I did took 10 hours to film. And it took 10 hours because I was filming outside behind this church parking lot. It started raining. So oh. I sat in the car. Then as soon as the rain stopped, they came out and started cutting grass. Oh, that, yeah. We had people doing like those little marathons. So it was like a bunch of people on a bike and jogging. Through. So I'm just sitting in the car like, bro, you know what? <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. That's you like you got to take an L on that one, man. Yeah. Um, I think the coldest thing that my boy did, it was for his web series. Uh, he, from, he from North Carolina, too. Ashford Thomas. Shouts out to Ashford, man. He from High Point. And specifically Greensboro, I should say. Uh, <laughs> he had a web series called How To You. He asked me to be a part of it, right? He said, yo, man, he live out here in L.A. He asked me to be a part of it. We go to a college. All right, this college out here, a community college. He's like, yo, we're going to go in this classroom. Yeah, I'm talking about we got like 10 people up in here in a, in a classroom. This is like summertime, but school is still going on, bro. So we in there, we film for like two hours, baby. And so we finish, leave the empty classroom, right? And so I was like looking for, you know me, always looking for locations, always looking for locations. I said, yo, man. How did you get that college classroom, man? That was crazy. That was good. He's like, oh, I just walked in there. I said, what? I said, how did you not know there was going to be somebody having a class there? <clears throat> Bruh, we was in there for two hours. I was like, how did you not know? He said, I don't know. I just chose a class. I was blown away by hey. that. I was blown if it worked, away. Hey, if it worked, bro. If it worked. <laughs> hey. I was blown away. But I was like, I was like, bro, we could have got like busted or whatever. <laughs> like, bro. That was crazy, man. It was stupid crazy, man. But look, man, I appreciate you having you on. We definitely gonna talk about strategy for 2021. I got yeah, some things. Bro. Uh I got big things I'm working on too. Like you be a part of it, man. Um but look, man, I told you guys, man, this is, you know, Daryl is up there, man. He's up there. One of the best that's doing it. Super funny. You know it. what I mean? I uh, putting out content. Man. Consistent. All right. YouTube killing it. Half a million views. We already know <laughs> in 2021, he's going to have like 3 million views. I already know it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's hey, from Carolina you, right man. there, man. That, yeah. So um, let everybody know, though, where they can follow you at. Yeah, so on YouTube is Daryl Mays. My Instagram is, I think it's Daryl underscore. Is it Daryl underscore Mays? Dang, I should know that. Now, you want to type <laughs> it in? You want to type it in? My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do. I don't it. think it's. I don't think it's. I don't think it's underscore on your name. It might. It might not be. It might not. I yeah, I don't think, think it's underscore. I see what. I just tell everybody. So my name is uh, Daryl Mays on Instagram. Daryl Mays on YouTube. I think on TikTok is also Daryl Mays. It's Daryl Mays that way. It's Daryl Mays that mm. <laughs> way for the most part. Same thing. Cool, 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 man. I know you're a busy guy. You got video to edit and uh, such as myself or record. You know what I mean? I got, I got, no, actually, actually, I'm writing right now because, like I said, I'm going to start batching. So I'm going I'm to get an Airbnb, um, I think, next week or so. So I got to write, like, eight videos right now because I'm going to try to draw. I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible next year. This, I promise you. This I'm, I'm, guy I'm, said he's renting you. an Airbnb. Y'all, oh, come on, man. Look, man, you. I need all my followers who's watching this on a replay on IGTV for Internet People Podcast. 
everybody follow Daryl, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is what renting an Airbnb, you know what I mean? Getting stalked at Johnson C. Smith, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, he's sitting in the rain. Look, he's putting in the work, man. And yo, I appreciate it. Super funny. Everybody go follow him, man. I already know you're going to have a dope 2021, man. You're going to holler at you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. I definitely appreciate you, man. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. That's Daryl, man. Holla. Thank you for everybody jumping in on the show. Yes, uh, appreciate appreciate that. My bad, Daryl. <laughs> My bad, bro. Uh, appreciate y'all being on the show. This is the Internet People Podcast, man. You can follow me. It's your boy, Kenyon Long, on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, of course, Snapchat as well. Snapchat is clicking off right now, Snapchat. Um, also, follow me on TikTok and Facebook at Ken Yon Comedy, man. And you can ask Alexa to play Internet People Podcast. Is that easy? I know your mama gave you an Alexa for Christmas. So do that, man. I got big announcements coming. I pump out content, man, doing comedy content. I, this is Comedy Podcast. And let me know who shall I interview next, man. Shouts out to Daryl Mays in the building, man. Appreciate that. See you guys on the next episode.